especially adolescents. So it's a group that we need to protect. Starting in a matter of hours, new protection possible for kids as young as 12 as federal health officials expand eligibility of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. Hoosier parents will be able to sign up their children on the state's website beginning at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, health officials say every county in Indiana will have doses on hand. Wish TV's Dan Klein reports kids who get their shot will be a lot less likely to need to quarantine. And just that portion of it is very appealing to parents after a long pandemic. But for health officials, it's a vaccine that can save lives. <laughs> a Wednesday evening at the park for Heather Thomas and her four children. Her 14-year-old twin girls are home on quarantine for the third time this year. And now they're being quarantined again because someone in their school has caught COVID. News that they are eligible for the vaccine as of Thursday morning is giving her something to ponder, especially knowing that if her girls get their shots now and they're at close contact in the fall, they won't have to quarantine as long as they don't show symptoms. That would be great because my daughter, my kids love sports. I think we might get a vaccine. Still not sure. It's going to be a great vaccine. It's, it's needed. Dr. John Christensen, Riley Children's Health pediatrician, says it's a misconception that adolescents are not at risk of the coronavirus. Getting the vaccine helps protect them and others around them who might be more vulnerable, like grandparents. And while much has been made of deaths in the older populations, thousands of children have died too. And some of them were children who didn't have anything wrong with them other than the fact that they came down with coronavirus and died of it. He's also seen the toll on mental health for teens and adolescents who have tried to take their own life while in quarantine, away from their friends and normal human interaction. It's not the only factor, but it's a contributing factor, no question about it. For state health officials, the issue is not just professional, but personal. As a parent, I want my oldest daughter, who has been so worried for this past year, to finally have peace of mind. Officials shared several eye-opening stats they hope motivates those on the fence to get their shot. 99.3% of coronavirus cases in Indiana have happened in people without the vaccine. Those people have a roughly 1 in 500 chance of being hospitalized. But people who have been fully immunized have a roughly 1 in 50,000 chance of needing hospitalization if they get COVID. Please don't gamble with your health or with the health of your loved ones. Yeah. Back at the park, Thomas says she believes it's safe, but still has a few nagging doubts that have held her back, at least for now. I'm really thinking about doing it because I have health risks, so I need to get it done because I love my kids and... We like going around people. Right now, 30 counties in Indiana do not have any sites with the Pfizer vaccine. Health officials said doses will arrive at those health departments tomorrow. Doses for the other county health departments will arrive on Monday. And one more change in medical advice that was announced today as well. After studying the issue, both the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics said it's fine to give the coronavirus vaccine at the same time as vaccines for other childhood diseases because there have been no unexpected side effects. Reporting in the newsroom, Dan Klein, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.